Hey guys, this is Megan with Thousand Generation Farms. Um, Joseph and I are out here. We're actually going to change the oil in the John Deere 3010. So, won't you come farming with us? Joseph is letting the old oil out first, as you can tell. This is our John Deere 3010 LP, so it takes propane to run. sits there will it the oil get like if you don't use it very much do you need to change the oil sooner too or it just kind of depends i don't think so some people might disagree with me um, oil is going to get the reason you change your oil is because it gets contaminated with dirt and small particles from I mean, the friction is mechanical friction from your engine running. Okay. I mean, well, that would be, in my mind, that's why you would change your oil. Again, I'm sure some people would probably tell me I'm wrong. Mommy. So, when you change the oil. Mommy. What? You want me to come up there? Okay, just a minute. When you change the oil, do you just put new oil in it or? Yeah. But you do a new filter too? Yeah. Dump the oil and put a new filter on. And the new oil is pretty much clear. No, it's not clear. It's just lighter brown. Okay. So this is the filter we're using, obviously. <laughs> and we'll show you a picture of it too when we get it out of the box. Can you come over here, buddy? So this is where your oil filter is, it's like a cartridge type filter. A lot of the new ones are, are like a spin on, it's an external filter, this is an internal filter, or whatever you guess what's called that. So it's just four bolts, or nuts, and this cap. What's that, Bubba? He's okay. He's just going back there to smell things. The baler. Yeah. We don't need the baler out quite yet. Maybe in a month or two. Shoulder's not quite. Uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, just to update you guys, Joseph's had a shoulder injury for like the last month and a half, and then. Um, our just a minute pumpkin our 4440 what we plant with um just had a head gasket go out so we're about like in it's about the time to plant or you know in the couple next couple weeks and our main tractor that we plant with is in the shop so kind of just trying to Get her, get some other little things done um, that Joseph can do. <laughs> so it's real fun. And other, as you guys could have probably told, Mommy. you could tell on Mommy. one of my last videos. Mommy. Yes. What? Outside? It's really windy. Daddy. Oh, Daddy. Daddy's right here. Daddy. Was Daddy outside? You hear the wind? What? You hear all the wind? <laughs> so that's what I was going to say. The, it's been so nice the past like, probably week and a half at least, but man, the wind 
has just been crazy. Like today, what, is it easily in the 70s? Yeah, it's right upper, mid, mid to upper 70s. And a pretty steady 30 mile an hour breeze yeah so haven't had any rain yet but the wind is hopefully we get a all here chance tomorrow. yeah we could really use a couple inches that'd be actually great if we get that before we planted but you can only wait so long for moisture <laughs> so that's the old filter and something to note too is the can only go on one way Okay. So this top, this top, and the casting. Obviously, there's these nuts. I want to put those in the recesses or kind of whatever. Okay. That's right. And then there's your gasket. I'll come up. Just a minute. Whatever. Make your seal. That's okay, so if you guys didn't hear him very well, the casting can only go on a certain way. It's marked top. And then. What's that? Rubber, there's a rubber ring in here to replace every time. That comes with the new filter. Yeah. You put that in there so that it, it basically is snug in there and sealed. So. Oh, buddy, don't start that. Okay, please. so he cleaned that. I forgot what it's called. Casting off. Just the cap or whatever. Wiped it down. Kind of wiping this down. And so that hole in the middle of the bottom of the tractor is still open, like where the oil is draining, you can kind of see it dripping. This is the new filter. We usually get ours from John Deere. You could probably get an off-brand one. But. See how nice and clean that looks. <laughs> now what Joseph's doing is basically, um, he put that rubber seal in there, the new one. He's just taking a little bit of the old oil and kind of just lubricating it. He's just gonna put this back in there. You see what Daddy's doing? Do you need your drink? Yeah. Okay, I'll get it for you. Basically, he's just gonna put that in there, like I said. And then it's against spring pressure. Okay. You gotta get it in there correctly. Put the nuts in there, on there. Okay, so. He's putting the cap back on. Mommy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the old oil. Mm -hmm. I probably should wash this no. off, kid, but I just. I'm not gonna do this. So this is the dipstick for the oil that is where you put the new oil in. Now well, that's the old oil. Daddy's gonna get rid of that. Look. It looks like milk. If it is black. Oh, the cows? Are cows black? Milk. Yeah, that's not milk. We don't drink that. That goes in the tractor. Okay, and this is the oil we're putting in. It's also from John Deere. Um, our tractor takes two gallons. So we have two of these. Basically, you just pour this in that little opening. And you use a 
funnel, otherwise you're gonna be spilling everywhere. Okay. Mommy. Yes. You can go get some more corn. This is the first gallon going out, trying to get you a good shot. This is not super light. But oh yeah, it's... It's burning that back. One more to go and then we're all done. Let's take her on a ride and warm her up a little bit.